I've done 24 years in, in the service and the last just over 12 months have been you know the highlights of my career really. Set up following 9/11, um, the country looked at our capabilities um, as a country to cope with large-scale incidents like this. As part of that team, uh, the search dog sits within it. We're on call, well, I'm on call, pretty much 24/7, 365, um, and then we can be deployed to large-scale incidents anywhere within the UK. Cara is uh, trained to search for life, so she's, a, she's she's what we we call a live scenting search dog. Uh, and we've trained her so she will indicate by barking um, at, at people within an incident that are alive. We train with what we call a cadaver scent, which is a scent of somebody who's deceased. Uh, and the time we're attending the incident is very much at the rescue phase. So we're looking to save as many lives as possible in that initial uh, phase of the incident. And so Cara has been trained to indicate on those live victims um, in those very initial stages of the incident so that we can do the best for most. Okara is a dog, it's, it's not a traditional breed, she's a Belgian Malinois, uh, traditionally in the UK. Um, Collies, uh, Springer Spaniels, Black Labradors have been the sort of breeds that, that people go for. As a Belgian Malinois for a search dog it's not, it's not the norm. Um, however, you know the qualities that she has um, and the training we've been to um, she really has proved herself as you know, an outstanding search dog, she's unbelievable. She's a bit fiery at times, um, but on the whole, you know, all the disciplines that we cover, she is outstanding really. Me and Cara uh, started our life together in January 2018. She was previously with another handler, uh, mm -hmm. and then she moved to Tech Rescue. So in 2018, in January, she moved to us, and for the first couple of months, we were just getting to know what, what she was like really, um, get to know her personality, how she ticks um, and then for the following six months then we were full on training to, to get her up to a licensing standard. It's been great to be, to be honest, you know, I've done 24 years in, in the service and the last just over 12 months have been you know, the highlights of my career really. She's, it's been a lot of work, a lot of personal time to get to the standard we, we wanted to be at. Um, but. She's a great dog, a very fast learner, um, very demanding. You know, if you want a dog to come and lie by your fire, you know, Malignor, it's not for you really. <laughs> when you're with anybody um, for a long period of time, it, it, it either happens or it doesn't. And for us, you know, it's, I think I spend more time with Cara than I do with anybody. Um, she, she comes home with me. Um, she lives with me at home in the house. Um, she comes to work with me. So, pretty much 24-7 I'm with her you know and you know when you, we, we come to work she sleeps here with us and, uh, and she'll be with me you know for as long as she lives really so even when she retires you get that ability to, to know what each other's thinking um, I can sort of look at her and know when she's stressed know when she's happy you know know when she's working know when she's she's a little bit lost within a search so then I know I need to give some input and at the same time, I think she can look at me and read my mood, knows when, you know, I'm happy and she's searching well and knows when, you know, if, if she's chasing a squirrel and she turns around and she probably know that I'm not happy with that either. So, yeah, I think, I think that you sort of get to know each other as you would a person. Um, and I think that's really important. And that's what makes you as a team um, as good as you can be. Now, from my point of view, I've spent so much time and effort uh, training car that there is absolutely no way that I'm going to put her at any sort of risk. Um, the same as I go into an incident, you know, you're looking after yourself. We're, we're trying to be able to recognise a risk. You know, I've got a lot of experience in, in that, in those arenas. Um, and just by looking at them often, you can decide whether you're going to commit or whether you're not. If the risk is too great, that absolutely not, the car won't be going in. Um, we need to mitigate some of the risks. Uh, and as a team, as a USAR team, we're able to do that. Um, we went to an incident in Leicestershire where a shop, had, a, there'd been an explosion at a shop and people had died and, you know, we tragically people were killed there. Uh, and it's about trying to do your job around that sort of environment. And that's not for everybody. Uh, and I think only training and exposure to things like that 
allows you to do that and uh, sort of put car in a position where we know there are casualties there, but are there any people that we can save, you know? And it never ceases to amaze me how, how she will just work on with all of that uh, and bypass, you know, the, the grim things that we see to, to try and get the job done. When we're training, the casualty would, would generally reward uh, with a toy. But obviously on an incident, we can't get that. We can't replicate that, so I'm then the reward. So I have to try and get to her. But obviously a lot of incidents we go to, there's not always going to be somebody that's alive. Um, so we can't always reward at that moment. And if that goes on for a period of time, so if we were searching all day and didn't have a find, very quickly the dog's levels of enthusiasm are, are going to uh, decline. So what we would look to do is throughout that, and that's part of my looking at her and seeing how she's working and her enthusiasm, it's about me recognising as a handler that right, we need to reward. So that might be something as simple as hiding somebody just around the corner uh, and I put her on a search the same and then bang, she gets the reward. Uh, and then she realises that, yeah, there is still play out there. So then we can put her back to search because, you know, we'll, we'll bring her back up there.